So this is something new that is in the Windows 10 installation with laptops that are still being shipped with Windows 10 or if you're setting up Windows 10 and connects to the internet, it's telling you that this computer or your device is recommended to run on Windows 11. Now you can decline if you prefer to just be on Windows 10. Um, from my own personal experience, I would say that Windows 11 is stable enough for a vast majority of people. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit get it. But if you don't want it, once again, you can just hit decline upgrade. All right, so now I'm booted into Windows 10 and what you wanna do now is go to your settings. You want to scroll down or you can even full screen, it's probably gonna be easier that way to hit upgrade and security. Windows update and it says pending download. So once this download here is done. All right, so after you wait a couple hours, the Windows 11 download should be complete. I just left my computer on overnight um, because the Windows 11 update is a pretty big file. Now, before I actually go ahead and restart this computer, I just wanna point out a few things. Um, so the upgrade to Windows 11 is going to take some time. It's first gonna show pending download and then it's going to download from there from zero to around 90 to 100 percent it's going to take some time but just let it do its thing from there it's going to going to show pending restart like you see now so what i'm going to do here is update and restart now the computer is restarting by the way if you haven't checked out my video of the acer swift 3 highly recommend very nice laptop um, so as you guys know from Windows laptops, Windows updates are a bit of a pain and they can take some time. So uh, I really don't want to hold this computer for, I have no idea how long because it can be long, but um, I guess I will leave it sort of like this and have you guys watch what happens. Okay, so we are finally done. That took, let's see here, let's go to my clock. Oh, that was actually a lot faster than I expected. That took about 16 minutes. I'm probably gonna round it up to 17 since I started it a bit late. Um, but that's it. Do my fingerprint and I'm signing in. All right, so this is how you upgrade from Windows 11 if your computer ships with Windows 10 and you get in the setup process where it's showing hey, do you wanna to upgrade to Windows 11? This is how you do it. As you can see, it's painless, quick, and probably the most important thing, it's free. So you're on Windows 11. There's a lot more, I guess, creature comforts that you can enjoy now that you're on the latest OS. But if you have any other questions, please let me know down in the comments below. I appreciate every single sub, like, and comment. And as always, guys, much love. I'm on Windows 11 and I am happy. Now I'm going to install all this useless bloatware that came with this computer. Thank you.